All right, pros and cons to the compressor before this camera dies. It feels fast. Fills fast. Uh, cons, hit or miss. It's seventeen hundred dollars. Uh, keep your box, or if you're returning it, you're fucked. Which is where I found out that return policy kind of thing. I buy my replacement. So I threw out the box on the first one. The second one comes. I bought that one, so I'm out thirty-four hundred dollars at the time. I take the box from that one, swap it over to the, the replace the to the one I'm returning. That takes the box back. So I'm down a box still. So when I got my third one, I had to buy that one too. So I'm down another $1,700 for the time being. The money's coming back in a week because they're fast on the return policies. But it gives me the box. I heard somewhere, I watched a video on the compressor. Someone didn't have their box and it cost them $300 to ship this thing back. More than a sixth of the cost of the unit in shipping. Holy shit. That would be a con. Um, this, the oil in this one is still getting dark. I don't know what's up with that, like dark quick. They say just to keep changing the oil. How many fucking oil changes do I need to keep doing? Come on. It looks like it needs one in, in an hour and I've only put maybe two hours on this. It's supposed to be done in like five to 10. All right, let's go see what this one's doing before it fucking explodes on me, knock on wood seven times. All right, it's almost there. It's at 60 degrees C, so it only has about maybe like another minute or two before I'd shut off anyway, but it's almost done. And then the auto shut off's gonna kick in. <sighs> Where the fuck was I? I mean, there's not much wrong with it. You just gotta make sure you get a good one. They do have a one year return, uh, one year, it's a limited manufacturer warranty. But I'm pretty sure it covers the cost of shipping for the whole year in return. So that's not that bad. Um, I guess we'll just see what happens with it.